Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mello from DualShockers.com and I'm here to talk about Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr uh, which I actually had a, tr a chance to try at Gamescom. Uh, the game is by Neocore Games and it's actually pretty interesting because it's not the usual, usual take on the Warhammer 40,000 universe which normally is a strategy. Uh, like we, we got some RTS, some strat uh, return based strategy games and a couple of brawlers, of course that's not strategy, but still. This is an action RPG and it feels a lot like uh, Diablo in a Warhammer 40,000 universe. Uh, we have classes, um, so far we have seen the Crusader Inquisitor, which is your big tank in power armor, uh, looks a lot like a space marine armor but more ornate, uh, he has a ton of weapons of course, <laughs> and then there is the uh, Assassin, which is more nimble and she has a big sniper rifle that can pick enemy out of distance and the dual blades. Um, we, there is also a very interesting twist which is Cover, uh, which you don't see very often in um, um, action RPG games. Uh, the enemies will be often in Cover and you can destroy it. Uh, the game has a very advanced destructibility engine and uh, uh, if you have heavy weapons enough you can uh, blast Cover away, uh, chipping it little by little. Um, actually, I've been told, because I haven't seen it in action, uh, that if you blast uh, some pillars, uh, you can actually have the ceiling crash come crashing down on the enemies, and that, that should be quite spectacular. Uh, enemies also have, um, have leaders, they have different roles, there are snipers, there are uh, enemies with heavy weapons, some will try to flank you, uh, and you can like uh, hit the snipers from apart, from the, from apart, or hit the leaders to uh, try and cut the head of the enemy. Uh, they also are very various types, like very different sizes, like very small narglings that attack you as worms, or there are some big, large. Uh, dreadnought sized uh, uh, enemies as well. Uh, of course, I haven't seen them all, but they seem to have quite the variety. Um, the maps are randomly generated, so there are a lot of uh, variety in there, uh, different situation and all. We'll of course have to see uh, how interesting they will manage to be, uh, because that's normally the weak point of randomly generated the map. Uh, the campaign has a large sandbox mode in which you will be able to explore star sector, find missions and actually influence a larger um, online campaign which is interesting because uh, it feels a lot like uh, the uh, summer campaigns that uh, Games Workshop held for Warhammer 40,000 and Warhammer um, and uh, you will also have like a single player campaign and uh, which is, will be much more crafted I've heard and you will have a uh, some uh, additions that they call seasons uh, that they will add more content into the game, more, more enemies, different races, uh, and there will be more focused and teamed. Uh, so I imagine, I, I have not confirmed it, that, that yeah, they will add like Eldar, Styrnets, and, and different, uh, and they will be teamed after those races. Uh, it would definitely be interesting to see how that kind of content evolves, uh, especially since the game seems to be uh, very much a uh, flowing experience uh, that will keep going for a long time if it's successful of course so far it's very interesting because the gameplay really feels a lot like Diablo but with a more ranged feel and uh, uh, I really li liked what I played uh, of course it's very early the game is, is out in 2017 but so far I felt that it's something as a Warhammer 40,000 fan I really want to see where it goes so uh, we'll have to wait and see and um, I'm very interested to tell you more um, when there will be news and uh, I'm especially interested to play it again when it will be more advanced in development so uh, stay tuned and uh, for now I'm off I'm Zeppa from DualShockers.com and thank you for watching